Russia's Al Rosa reported its fiscal year 2011 and first quarter 2012 results this week. The mining giant sold $4.5 billion worth of diamonds last year, a 28% increase from 2010. Profit more than doubled to $1 billion. Production was reported earlier and remained relatively flat at 34.6 million carats. Now, already this quarter, Al Rosa's sales are up 5% compared with first quarter 2011 at $1 billion. Profit jumped 23% to $282 million. As for current trends, the company says growth is moderate for both rough demand and for prices. Israel's Harry Oppenheimer Diamond Museum recently opened its newest exhibition called Chains of Silver, showcasing traditional items used in the Jewish faith featuring sterling silver. Our Avi Krawitz spoke with the museum's curator, Yuda Kosef, about this event. The new exhibition in the Diamond Museum is, uh, contains Judaica items, silver Judaica items, sterling silver Judaica items, as a matter of fact. Um, this exhibition is, is unique because it is uh, made not of objects related to jewelry or diamonds or gemstones, uh, directly, but items that are done by uh, jewelers, by uh, goldsmiths and the silversmith that are specializing in Judaica items. Um, everything here is handmade, nothing is made by machine, and it is a kind of a special uh, uh, exhibition, a, new, a unique one, because it has um, the slogan of Merube Hanistar Ala Nigle which means that there is more to see inside that you cannot see from the outside. This is the main, main object of this uh, exhibition. Um, this exhibition is divided into two. First, the traditional kind of Judaica items like the Hanukkiah, the uh, candle, uh, candelabers and the candlesticks for, uh, for Hanukkah, uh, that, or for the Rimonim or other items like the Kupat Tzedakah, which are done in traditional, one, in traditional way, uh, mainly in uh, uh, Middle Eastern uh, uh, European style. The other part of the exhibition is an exhibition with items, special items, that looks very much like regular items from the 20th century without any special uh, Jewish connection. From the outside they look like uh, models of these items, but inside you have all the, the items that are connected to Jewish uh, Jewish holidays. For example, in the Takmar Kava, you can see the, ca the candelabers for the Hanukkah and the Megillat stair downstairs, and a, a cup for wine and kupa for, for and this is for um, uh, Havdalah and Svivon and other things. It will take place till I think the end of July or beginning of September. But I think that since we see the enthusiasm of the uh, public. Probably it will st stay longer here. Time now to check on how precious metals prices performed this past week. For all the latest industry news, be sure to check diamonds.net and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.